Hello, good evening. Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Hey, what's up? How are you, Andres? Fine, thank you. I'm doing great too. Just coming home. Tired, but happy. Today is Tuesday. Okay, hoy no voy a hablar yo, señores. Necesito que ustedes empiecen la clase. So, I'm just going to be here. So, voy a estar aquí escuchando por los siguientes 10 minutos, 9 minutos, ok? So, go ahead. But nobody has the camera on. Nobody has? Oh, the camera. Yeah, guys, turn on your camera. Señores, por favor, encendamos la cámara, empecemos la clase, hablemos. Come on. Okay, let's behave like adults. Vamos a comenzar a actuar como adultos, señores. Vamos. Sin miedo al éxito. <laughs> Come on, guys. Hello, good evening. 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 <laughs> Why are you so quiet today? I don't know. But you are in the in the beach now. Yes, at the beach. <laughs> the, the sunset right now. Okay. It's a beautiful. <laughs> yeah. And you, I love the the beach. Um, so far, so. uh, oh. my wife really loves it. Okay. I like it. <laughs> What uh, what prefer you beach to the beach? I prefer uh, the Costa del Sol. Ooh. Yes, and that, that picture is at the Costa del Sol. Okay. Yes. Oh. Yes. And you? Hi. Israeli, yeah. uh, Israeli in my case is a visit the beach. Depend, depend the time. I am. Um, so la libertad, quizás. Okay. Yes. Liberty port. Oh. Sorry. The Liberty port. Puerto de la libertad. And yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's interesting. Yes, I prefer the I prefer um, visit the mountain and the park and the gardens. I look the um, flowers okay. and. Independent my my time and I visit the 
my parents and my family and in the other country. And I prefer read books. Read books at the moment. Yes. <laughs> yes, my... I like it at the spirit too. Yes. <laughs> the teacher is only watching. <laughs> <laughs> What's the talk? <laughs> I always tell, uh, told you, talk no Basilia. <laughs> Again, I'm just listening. You're missing four minutes. Continue speaking. Talk to a classmate. Break okay. the ice. Break the ice. No, nobody wants to talk. <laughs> just Ada. <laughs> hey, uh, talk talk directly. <laughs> Talk directly uh, to one of your classmates. <laughs> okay. Hey, Luis, Luis. Hello. Uh, what is your opinion for tomorrow? The Sabo versus ah, Mexico. For the match with uh, Mexico. I don't know. It's, it's, it's yes, it's going to be very hard. <laughs> oh, no. The problem for, for tomorrow in the traffic. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's it's gonna be, yes, it's yeah, going yeah. to be very hard. <laughs> and the epidemic, <laughs> the, the, the case of the epidemic for higher. <laughs> Pandemic, huh? um, Heidi, what, what do you score for tomorrow for the match? What do you think? <laughs> it's that I don't feel optimistic for tomorrow. I think we're not going to win. <laughs> okay. I don't think we're so. We are going I to really lose. So. I wish, I wish, I wish. I wish we would win, but I don't think we are going to win. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I think maybe one to one in the, in the, the best scenario, <laughs> in the base case. The best scenario, I guess uh, two one, maybe two one. Okay. I hope to bros? be wrong. <laughs> Really? Ah, you 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 work near the stadium. Yeah. You have to on the way for you in the stadium. No, 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 not really. No, not really. I live uh, seven minutes from. No, I don't pass through the stadium. Okay. Not really, I don't have traffic problems. Excellent. I, I I live seven minutes from work, so very near. I don't think. But let's talk about something else. No, I don't forget uh, the last question. Uh, remember this exercise that the teacher sent us to the groups and ask questions. The last question that the of the group. Uh, that we had to answer. I'm still thinking on it. And it was the question, it was, uh, if we are, if you, if you were about to die, which would be your last words? <laughs> Who sent you that? Did I? I told you did. Really? Yeah. No. No, I didn't send you that question. Really? Uh, really? I don't know. Or maybe the link or I don't know. <laughs> but I can't forget that question. <laughs> yeah, maybe you was dreaming. <laughs> I don't remember that question. Mm -hmm. You know something? When I don't know, I don't know. Uh, I can't remember who read that question. 
but he read the question and we were all quiet in the group. And then we were back into the main room, so. Ah, in the, break, in the, the breaker room. Mm -hmm. mm. We didn't answer. I don't know. I'm still wondering. <laughs> I don't know. So what do you think about that question? Which one? Can you repeat? If you were about to die, which would be your last words? The last words you would say, you'd say. Uh -huh. Last word, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't want to die right now. Uh -huh. No, me neither. Um, trusting God. And trusting God, but this mm -hmm. word. <laughs> You have only only word to say, you know. I don't know. <laughs> it's difficult. It depends <laughs> uh, who to who are you uh, are you saying word. Mm -hmm. I think. I don't know. Maybe bye. <laughs> See you. <laughs> you see. See you. Okay. See you when you get there. You see, you can talk as much as you want. Simple, right? You don't need to um, stay quiet the whole time. You see, you can make the class without me. That's the whole point. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay. Let's do the attendance and then we move on. Okay. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Yeah. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present, teacher. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present, teacher. Erwin, Irwin Lagos Andrade. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Yeah. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Yes, okay. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present teacher. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Okay. José Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher. Okay. Juan Francisco Enríquez González. Present teacher. Okay. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Okay. Miguel Ángel Paz Landaverde. Present. Okay. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Okay. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Okay. Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel. Okay. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Yo soy Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present teacher. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Thank you. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Excellent. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanez. Present. Thank you. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinoza. I, Ivan Manuel Jerez Perez. Present, good evening, teacher. Good evening, thank you. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present, teacher, good evening. Good evening, thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Okay, so tonight we have to continue talking about pricing, guys, but this time we'll try to make it funnier than yesterday. Did you study um, the Quizlet presentation? No. Okay, we will check on that a little bit, but some terms that we need to learn. Um, so I have found some creative common, a creative common uh, video, you know, with no, the copyrights where we can learn some additional vocabulary in terms of uh, pricing. Let me just check something really quick. But before we do that, 
what do you remember about yesterday? Where were we? What did we do yesterday? What was the most interesting part for you of the class yesterday? Hello, hello. What was the, the most? Part. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> what okay, was the well the Go ahead. sorry continue teacher continue yes, I'm so sorry. sorry it's just a st just stay quiet so I I just keep going but yes go ahead Jocelyn what was your favorite part my favorite part was when we were talking about what is pricing important in the in the team work because we were discussing and we were like maybe we are a business girl or, um, or business people because we were talking about that kind of topic. Excellent. Yeah, everybody was very talkative about pricing and how, it, why is it important? Okay. Someone else, give your opinion. What was your favorite part of the class or what do you remember about yesterday? Do you have any doubts? We're Come talking on. about the use the four and two. Oh, we the saw some samples. Uh, we're talking about the the cook. We the talked price about in, the price in uh -huh. the year of the mark, the branding. Mm -hmm. how old it is right how old yes. it is mm -hmm. and despite despite its age it's still it still um remains on the market right it still remains on the market they're strong that's a very strong company and what's new? What's new about that brand, about Coca Cola? Have you heard or have you seen any ads on YouTube where you can, they are, they are telling you that you can invest? Did you hear that you can invest on Coca Cola actions? Yeah, I, yes. I saw that, that commercial advertising. That, that ad, uh huh. But that I don't know if that is true. I don't know, yeah. too. I don't know. Maybe it's a scam. It could be a scam. Yeah, it could be a scam. Good word. <sighs> Scamming is everywhere nowadays. Right? Scamming is everywhere. Actually, in my, uh, the company that I work for in the call center is about prepaid cards. And we are concerned about how easy it has become for fraudsters or for scammers uh, to get the customer's data. You know, it's so common nowadays. And the problem is, Heidi, <laughs> what you were talking to me about yesterday, you know, I just saw it this morning. I was trained this morning about how the system automatically identifies fraudulent transactions. It's a huge mess because we have a lot of customers calling, hey, this is not a fraudulent transaction. I did this purchase. And you know what I found out is that the, the market has become digitalized, digitalized. So everything is on the internet. So every transaction goes through the internet and there is no controller, you know, there is no someone controlling the transactions on the internet directly. And for example, uh, Fernando may know about this, but if you become an addict, you know, if you become, if, if you get an addiction to gaming online, mm -hmm. um, there are websites where you have to pay. You have to pay to access the website, to have a subscription. And if you use a debit card, a prepaid card, a credit card, there's a chance 
that the bank is going to go like, hey, why are you using that website? Because there's too much people paying to that website. So it's an unusual, an unusual fluctuation of money. So that's going on, right? So that's the problem we have right now. Uh, many merchants are complaining actually with banks because the transactions are being declined every time, even through Amazon, even through Amazon. The, our system automatically goes like boom, 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 you know, hey, there's a transaction on Amazon. Did you make this transaction? And it blocks the card. And our system automatically replaces the card. So, man, my card is blocked. Oh, I'm sorry. We blocked your card because this transaction, you know, because of this transaction. So did you do it? Yes, I did it. Uh, we replaced your card. In seven to 10 to 15 business days, you're gonna get a new card. 15 days without my card, without my money. Yes, I'm so yeah, sorry. But they do that because of uh, preventing that you, you were stolen your number. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but as a customer, I mean, that's a huge impact, especially on Latin people in the States, which is a very common thing. You know, I have um, uh, people from Latin America, Spanish speakers, I should say, um, contacting us saying, hey, tú te lo vas a mi dinero, chico, ¿dónde está mi dinero? No puedo usar mi tarjeta. Llámame para atlán, me dice. ¿Qué es lo que pasa? ¿Qué es lo que pasa aquí, me and they call very upset, of course, it's your money. I mean, right? So it's very uh, difficult nowadays. Shall we start with that question? It's a great question. What do you think the, um, about the emerging markets? Oh my God, is, is this too difficult? What do you think about the emerging markets? What is an emerging market? That, that's too big. Hold on, let me think. Is that too difficult? Um, let's talk about the digital, the digital market. Okay, what do you think about the digital market? AliExpress, for example. <laughs> yeah, but th that's the specific website. I'm talking about the whole thing, you know, what happens in the digital market? If you are an entrepreneur, and that's a word that you should start using. If you're an entrepreneur, um, how do you make yourself noticeable on the digital market? That's an easy question. What can you do as an entrepreneur? Entrepreneur, entrepreneur. What can you do as an entrepreneur to go on the market? As a marketing strategy, what do you think of the digital market? And how, I mean, what's the difference between the physical market, the traditional market and the digital market? I want you to discuss with your classmates, your thoughts, you know, okay? Can somebody give me one sentence? I mean, what do you think about the question? I think there is a big opportunity that we have even when you are in the house because you don't need a, you don't need you don't need a store to sell anything. Anyone need to know where are you or who are you? You mean nobody way, needs to know? The unique the maybe the website that you are are selling your product need to classify you like uh, five stars or uh, rec some recognize that mm -hmm. the website can give you. For example, if you are a good seller or if you are a bad seller mm -hmm. because the reputation of our seller is really important you know, in that kind of market. How is pricing set on the digital market? So we have two questions. What do you think about the digital market and how is pricing set on the digital market? 
get your thoughts, think about it, okay? I think all of us know about the digital market, right? How it works. If you don't know, you're gonna learn a lot from your classmates. So speak, give your opinion. If you know a lot about this topic, tell your classmates about it, okay? Receive questions, answer questions from your classmates. Okay, y les recuerdo, por favor, traten de encender su cámara, okay? No estamos en una clase presencial, pero tener, ver a una cara es como estar en una clase presencial. So, I invite you to open your camera, if possible. Okay, there you go. You can share your screen if you want for any new word you find. Let's go. Caroline, Wendy, let's go. The, the, the marker is uh, very useful in today's world. You can do all the shopping you want, uh, you want from your home. It, it helps to seem faster. You can see um, uh, the different markers without leaving your home. Your your home. Uh, it is this. There is a for very easy um, for for the when you don't have time uh, visit a store. Uh, it's very very necessary for the. For the uh, today, uh, this is a a tool. This is a tool, very interesting. If you if you use the four correct, because uh, you can see and uh, in the different marker uh, the thing uh, that th thing thing um, very very. Uh, cheaper if you can compare the different price and you select the major option. For me, this is opinion. Uh, that, that's my opinion. Okay. Uh, for me, digital market uh, uh, is very big. We we have many ways to to introduce in the digital market. We have an uh, online store, national, international, where we have different products uh, about different kind of, of categories of products. Uh, I think we have to be careful with, with when uh, we, we bought, bought uh, we, we buy. a product online. We buy a, a product online because uh, we have to to be sure that, that the, the, the platforms or application, web page, contact, the, the way that you, you select to, 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 to buy a product, they have to be, uh, to be comfortable. Como se dice confiable? Trusting, trusting. A trusted trusting. product? Yes, they have to be trusted because in this, uh, after pandemic, uh, uh, there are many, many people that uh, want to, want, wants to, to install your money. So we have to be careful with that. William Alexander, turn on your camera, please, if you can. Okay, keep going, keep going. You need to, to save money for if you if you buy buy clothes or different products that you need okay 
It's, an excellent, it's an excellent way to to buy different different kind of clothes. I agree with the digital market. Yeah. What do you think, Johnny? I think um, the digital market is is grow and it's 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 benefit. However, brings so so probably so because uh, for example, I buy some product by internet. Through the internet, through the internet. Through the internet, and when I receive the product, it's other product. Or another, another. With the, another product, all <laughs> with distinct characteristics. And <laughs> that can be a problem. And for example, if I buy the product in Singapore, for example, yeah, uh, uh, I can I can <laughs> return the pro. Yeah, for the reason I think is uh, digital market has uh, have a lot. Have you yeah. have your own free range chicken online for your compare? No. Yeah. No. Yes. Online. Yeah, for your compare yeah. has a good platform to buy online. They are oh. very fast and the service is very good. It's, no. it's good yeah. It's for it's for WhatsApp. Yeah. Really, I I I watch the, the the website of. Uh, for example, for, for example, if, if you if you be seen uh, Instagram and you you see pay, uh, for your compare, for your compare have a link. Mm. To WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Yeah. And in WhatsApp, you can see all menu, menu, and you select your product, and very fast, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, I like wow. it. Okay. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Um, let me check. Who was Sandra? Are you there? I don't know. Sandra, can you hear us? No. Okay. Uh, else? The next question: How is pricing set on the digital market? Uh, uh, what else? Let me... I don't know how the prices. Uh, inserting in the digital market. I think um, it should be the same way. Maybe it's, it's um, less cost. There are less. Costs. Yes. Yes, because you don't mm -hmm. have a, 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 a shop or a place uh, because you you sell in the in the website. You you don't need a place. Maybe the product in the in the websites are cheaper than than in 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 a store. And yeah, yeah. And for example, in uh, in page or sites like eBay, uh, the cost of the the packing is for the customer, it's mm -hmm. not for the seller. So no matter the cost of the, of the to send uh, any product, because it's okay. not, a, not a cost for you, <laughs> it's for the customer. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it could be. You have to consider another factor. Like uh, if you have a website, you have to 
thing about the maintenance of the website. Mm -hmm. If you're selling another country, you have to consider the taxes in another country. Shipping. Yeah, and um, we, uh -huh. my wife, I work with uh, PayPal, and she have to consider the uh, taxes of uh, PayPal. Yeah, the taxes of PayPal, like that. yes. Yeah. Fees. Fees, yeah. Taxes is for, for government. It's a fees. No, no, no. Those are taxes for the government, but PayPal charges some fees. Mm, okay. Additional charges that PayPal... Uh, uh includes on your transaction it's like their commission their commission yeah commission yeah mm -hmm. okay yeah I, I think that another level that actually many people import uh, merchandise from china because it's the cheaper yes it's cheaper <laughs> <laughs> i remember <laughs> that my uh, oh, two co-workers by a phone from China, they receive really fast and really cheap. And where, where they buy? Uh -huh. On which page? On Amazon. Uh, AliExpress. AliExpress. Oh, Ali 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 because I, sometimes I, I bought some products on eBay. But it takes a long time to be in my country. Maybe yes, two or maybe. three months. Takes mm -hmm. two or three months. Come on. Okay. I, I bought from I bought a product from China using Amazon, but the cheaper was really expensive, and I received um, one one week because I visit my parents in the United States and I decide to buy something. And then when I calculate the time that the product arrived at the United States, I scared because I saw that the product was really slow. And then I pay more money to receive it faster, <laughs> but it was really fast. Yeah. Yes, China to USA is, is very fast. Mm -hmm. Maybe fifteen days. But China to El Salvador is very slow. Yes, it's really slow. By the way, today in the morning, I hear in the TV spot uh, about the Black Friday. Uh, but uh, and then I, I wonder uh, how will be <laughs> this Black Friday with the pandemic? Digital or people <laughs> go to the store. Actually, both. I guess that is both. But here in El Salvador, is not a good provider. Even in the United States, my mother mentioned that it's really, really good. People what? die to buy something there. Yes, it is, it is crazy. I yes. I was I visited my parents in that day over there, and the people is really crazy there. Yeah, that yeah. day. Here I don't know. Price elasticity of the man. Okay. I found that the phone. Uh -huh. I found digital product is often defined by the value it brings to the buyer. Buyer, buyer. How, what is the proper pronunciation? Buyer, boy, buyer. Buyer. The buy. Buyer. 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 Uh -huh. Yeah, we are going to try to figure out about it, but <laughs> it's difficult. What is difficult? <laughs> Setting the price online? Yeah. Hmm. Because Why? we are, we can find a good definition.
we are we are looking for in different web page. Different contexts. Yeah. For example, for example, in this case, um, for example, and um, say that the price of a physical product is often defined by the cost from development to deliver to delivery. Mm -hmm. But the price of a digital product is often defined by the value it brings to the buyer. Mm -hmm. There you go. So online, but think of, as a consumer, when you look for, let's see, let's say you're looking for speakers, you know, how these little speakers, JBL speakers are like a trend nowadays. Do you have a Bluetooth speaker in, at home? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So what do you look for? Price? You're covering a necessity, right? So price and quality but what is quality in that sense how do you know is of quality about the sound the sound so how do you test it if it is online yeah <laughs> you see that's that's the trigger that's yeah. a tricky that's a tricky point there how do you test it how do you know is quality so um, you go by the value, by the price, don't you think? Yeah. Unless, okay. unless you become an expert right away. You look for some Google, you Google some videos, you know, on what is the wattage, the output wattage of a speaker, let's say. So if 300 amps, it's a lot, or if 100 amps is a lot, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. I got, it. I got yeah. your point. <laughs> okay, give me another example, another product where you can do the same. Uh, for example, digital, yeah, their clothes actually as well. Clothes, love, bread. No, no, clothes. Oh, clothes, clothes. You can say close. Hello? Okay. What's wrong with close? Uh, yeah. How do you do it? So, How do you do yeah. that? The size. The, yeah. You only look for uh, as your size, but you know, you actually do not about if the same size in the Salvador from American side. Okay, that's a that's the strategy. Yes, to look for clothes. What else can you do? Mm -hmm. um, there are different products. In this case, um. Uh, Involve everything, right? Everything that you can buy, you could buy. Okay. Or you can be more specific on the details of the product on the website. So, uh, for example, do you know what's your your jeans size, your pants size? Yeah. What is it? <laughs> well, Antonio, um, do you know? I'm, for example, I'm 34, 33. I'm 34, 33. That means 30, 33, um, I'm sorry, 34 on my hip and 33 legs, you know, as large. And that's inches, I think. It's 30, in, 34 inches or centimeters. Yeah, yeah. Right. And Nine then inches. long 
it's 33 inches. So 34, 33. If it, if it is 34, 32, that's too short for me. L length, you know, long, 32 long yeah. is too short. And I look funny. So 34, 33 is the perfect fit. If it is 34, 34, that's too long. Okay. Mm -hmm. But this context is, is uh, tricky sometimes because there are size for Europe. And there are size for there are sizes US. there are sizes, sizes for your yeah and in our difference for example i am 40 in yeah. in europe it's like uh i don't know really sure it's 30 in us okay yeah it's different and you can struggle with that because you can buy thinking that you you are that side but actually you you don't know what kind of product they are selling man there's a lot of terms <laughs> we have to learn uh, price benchmarking wow discrimination price discrimination Price elasticity of demand. Price. Fairness. What do you think about this um, this definition that we found about digital market? Is digital market is compared to magazine, a traditional magazine? Yeah, uh, when you found uh, ads in magazines, is but in digital becomes a digital. A digital magazine. Yeah, it's kind, kind of. Uh, that's that's the new era. I mean, nowadays, who reads the newspaper? And yeah. remember, back in the days, um, you used to have a lot of advertising on the newspaper, right? Yeah. And even before you used to have girls on tanga, you know, on bikini, on, 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 on the newspaper. And suddenly back in the 90s, they removed these advertisements. Remember? Yeah. On the sports, on the sports section of the newspapers, they, they used to put some uh, women wearing underwear, you know, and things like that. And, but suddenly they removed it. Like a poster. <laughs> a poster, things like that. Yeah. Okay. Man, there's a lot of context. I mean, a lot of vocabulary we're going to look at right now. <sighs> <laughs> okay. Let's go back. Okay, we're coming back. Let's just wait for the others. Hey, Erwin, good night. Hi, teacher. Sorry, I had a problem with my internet. Oh, don't worry, but you're here. I, I call it to Claro, but I will wait tomorrow. Excellent. Don't worry. Thank God you made it. You're right Thanks. on time. You're right on time. Okay. Okay, guys. I need one participant per group to tell something, just the most relevant comments, if you may, the most relevant comments of your discussion in groups. Who wants to start? No money. Okay, good. Let me choose someone. Let me go with the first group. Let's go in order. The first group was composed by Ada, Alan, Elvin, Fernando, Wendy, and William. So, Amoliers, repeat, Amoliers. 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 Do you remember the Warner Brothers? No, oh, no, the Metro Golding Mayor cartoons? Yeah. 
Uh -huh. Jamás se me olvida. Cuando escucho ese idiom, I'm all ears, me acuerdo de un ratoncito que tenía las orejas bien grandes en el bosque y anda todo asustado y le dice el narrador, oye, pequeño amigo, ¿por qué estás tan asustado? Y dice el ratón, es que tengo estas grandes orejotas y no escucho nada. Ok, so, I'm all ears. Se me viene a la mente la imagen del ratoncito. Come on. So, uh, again, Ada, Alan, Elvin, Fernando, Wendy, and William. Just the most relevant of your conversation. What do you think of digital market? How do you set on the digital market? Go. Um, they are afraid of the digital market because it's going to be like uh, a scam can be, uh, people can be scam at this, at this time. Of course, it's frequently that you buy something in, and don't trust in someone else, but I think I give my opinion and say that it's going to be the future. In uh, 10 years, uh, maybe it's going to be, El Salvador could be like, uh, hey, I'm going to buy something. And we can see it in uh, other countries like in the United States, you can buy in Amazon, eBay, or AliExpress, something like that. And here, it's not the, the, the idea is not, uh, they don't grow up the idea already because it's um, uh, here the, the technology is not, uh, how can I say it? Uh, not developed enough. Yeah, it's not, uh, they're trying uh, here in this, uh, the country is trying to get a, uh, and, and introduce a new technology, right? Because you see it like a virtual um, money, and but it's not enough because actually uh, the people prefer doing business face to face because they feel comfortable. They trust to to see the the person in front. But I think the future of the digital digital market. It's, uh, it's a promise that maybe in a 10, 20 years, it's going to be like, uh, come, it will be common in your daily life. And uh, the second part is like pricing. I think that is, it's more cheapest uh, because you don't spend in uh, resources like rent, you can do it at your home. You can. Uh, you don't need to to hire personnel. You can do it by your by by your own uh, effort, and just need uh, deliveries. And it's not not need a lot of people like trying to. Hey, I'm going to rent a, a place. You are going to sell it. I need to pay electricity, uh, water, everything, uh, uh, payroll. It's more easiest. Uh, it's easier. Uh, it's easier, sorry. Uh, it's more easy, I'm going to say, but I prefer to. <laughs> you don't say I it's more easier. It. It's easier. I, 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 I would like to compare. It's easiest way to do it. Oh, it's the easiest way to do it. Uh huh. Um, for me, the digital market is going to be the future. Ooh, good job. Okay. Thank you, Alan. You see, just one person on the group and it's okay. Let me open this image. Okay. Next group, really quick, guys. Just one minute, okay? Irene, Johnny, Josue, Alberto, Juan Francisco, and René Alfonso. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Okay. Uh, talking about our idea about digital market. Um, we are agreeing our group that digital market is an excellent way to buy cheap things, but needs to be regulated because sometimes we could be cheated. 
because uh, we don't have any law who regulates this kind of of transactions online. And then uh, it's dangerous for for the buyers. Uh, in our discussion, in our groups, we was uh, we were agree that this digital market market needs to be regulated. Still need some regulation, right? Yeah, I heard many of you talking about that. How everyone is still is still afraid of going on to the digital era. Um, room three, there were Haiti, Luis Ernesto, Miguel Angel, Sandra Elizabeth, and Suleyma Ivonne. Just one. Okay, just one of you guys, the most relevant comments, you know, in general. In general, one of the of the comments was that um, digital market is not for all target markets. For example, for grown people, no, you cannot get to them because they're not too... Uh, Custom? They're, sorry? They're not so accustomed to technology? They're not so, so accustomed to technology or they don't use so much of the, of the... They don't like it. Ah, they don't like it, exactly. So you, it's not general that you can get to every kind of, of segments, right? And about the pricing, we all agree that the, uh, the costs are less costs because you don't pay locals or, or you don't pay uh, salaries on too much people. And, and we also said that um, what things you have to pay different from normal normal prices is that you have to pay for the maintenance of, of, of the website. You have to pay for the maintenance of the website is through the rights, the rights, just the right to own um, an electronic address, a website that's very expensive. It's monthly payments. And the better the website, the more expensive it is. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Thank you very much. Who's next? Thank you. That was group three. Group four, Andres, Ivan, Yuri, and Jocelyn. Okay, teacher. Continue. Men's first. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, Jocelyn. <laughs> no, go on. Just go with it. Don't Feed worry. The girls. Girls first. Girl first. Female power. Girl power. Come on. Okay, we were talking with the uh, guys about that digital market is very popular right now because of uh, COVID-19. Um, as we mentioned before, uh, we can connect with potential customer or potential partners uh, through internet or other, other, other communication like Facebook, Instagram. And it is a very way. And we mentioned some examples for eBay, uh, Amazon. But you mentioned something really important. The best is the application is more expensive. Uh, can you continue, Yuri, please? Okay, thank you. Uh, we talk about that. Uh, there is a big opportunity that, that we have here to increase our, our money uh, because uh, you don't need to be a big enter, uh, enterprise to, to sell something. You can begin with a little, a little, a little, a little money in your pocket, and uh, you must to be. If someone need to to do money there, need to work really hard because it isn't easy. Because if you want to develop a campaign using a like a social media, Facebook, Twitter, or 
whatever, you need to know something about what are you going, what is your market that you are going to, 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 what did you, what did your target market? Um, in that way, you you need to read, you need to study, and you need to have a, a plan or a strategy. What is going to do in that kind of market? what you're going to do in that kind of market. Okay. Good. Wow. Okay. And we're missing just one group, right? Just one more. Thank you very much, guys. You're landing the ideas and that's good. Okay. That was the last group actually. Oh, yeah. Three, four. Oh no. Number five, Alexander, Jose Antonio and Roberto. <coughs> Alexander. <coughs> hey, please. Okay. Okay. Yeah. In this context, actually, summarizing is um, digital market is the promotion of brands. Um, you know, um, based on social media or web page through advertisements, and so in this context, we can define that advertising is like sometimes is compared with a traditional magazine, right? When you look, when you watched, when you read. used to watch, what or read, read, advertising, yeah. Actually, this is the base context, but we need to take advantage of this uh, digital world. Um, sometimes we have, or oh, we can get some scare about it or we can feel a little bit tricky or afraid or really okay afraid but i found that when you try to, when you want to um set up a price you need to you need to look for a value of the product it's not about how much can you get because it's more based on the product because the product uh they the consumer they can not touch them they cannot taste it but they can they are appealing from the price they're this depending the based on yeah on the price you heard guys that's very important thank you guys everybody that was awesome hey i was giving the example to alexander what happens if you want to buy a speaker online? What, what do you go for? Listen, what do you go for? Are you driven? Are you driven by the price? Are you driven by the quality? Or just the appearance? What are you driven by? The quality. Okay. The feedback of the, cons the, the customer is uh, very important because uh, you know. This guy is amazing. <laughs> You're amazing, man. That, uh, Nobody had I mentioned. buy in a way alone. For okay. A long time. <laughs> oh, okay. Now that makes sense. Hey, but wait. Yeah, Jury said the quality, but that was my point, you know, and Alan just, the teacher. Yeah. How do you? How do you identify the quality of a product jury if you cannot touch it, feel it, smell it, or in the case of a speaker, test it? For example, I remember when I was looking for a microphone, I, I compare many, many characteristics, many characteristics of the, that kind of product. And at the end, I decide Decided. I decided the the microphone that has better benefit to me, and the for me, for me and and for example, many YouTubers they gave you they gave me an idea what is best if they compare many pro, many many kind of that con, many many microphone many and microphone. they put. Mm -hmm. Many microphones, uh, they decide, look at this, this, that, this has is good sound, this has that kind of characteristic. 
that kind of price and whatever. At the end, if you compare many products at the same time, you are going to get a best, the best idea of what are you going to select. You got it, my brother. Yes, Alan was right as well. So think about it, the evolution of the pricing strategies on the internet. So um, that's part of the market, marketing. Do we all agree? That's part of the marketing of product. But at the beginning, there were just blogs. Do you remember the blogs and people were called bloggers, right? So Alan is right. You had the rating of the consumers. They taste the product and things evolutioned in such a way that after having the ratings, they started giving out products for free. So if you were a famous blogger, if you have a lot of readers in your blog, companies started saying, hey, remember the developing of your product stage? Hey, we're developing this product. Why don't we send it to Fernando? Fernando is a blogger. Let's send it to him. Let's have him make a review. We pay Fernando for testing our free product. Fernando gives the review. He gets the opinion of all of his readers, you know, and he's going to say that our product is good. Okay. So there you have integrity of the bloggers, integrity of the YouTubers. Have you heard about a YouTuber being sold? They go, it's like when Metallica went uh, commercial. Do you remember that scandal? Do scandal? you remember that scandal? No, Metallica, the rock band. They were public. They, they didn't used to have a lot of videos, you know, and all that fancy stuff. Now it was just concerts and concerts. And suddenly, man, they cut their hair. They became more fancy, you know. They started selling merchandise. Listen, they started selling merchandise. They started producing videos. And everybody was like, but this is not Metallica. And this is just another commercial band, you know. Same thing happened with YouTubers. You criticize products. You prove if they're good. But by your own, you don't expect companies to buy your opinion. And that's integrity of market integrity, let's say. We will see those terms in just a minute. Let me do the, the attendance before we move on to the next topic, okay? Uh, to the same topic, but in a different way. Where is the attendance? Oh my God. Here it is. Uh, Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Okay. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present. Thank you. Irwin Lagos Andrade. He was here. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present. Thank you. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Jose Alberto Salas Benítez. Present. Juan Francisco Enriquez González. Present. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel Paz Landaverde. Present. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel. Is Werner here? No, right? Okay. So I saw him. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Juleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Hey, Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Present teacher. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. 
Present. Thank you. Great job, guys. We're only missing two students again. Okay. So next, Alan mentioned something. I liked something that Alan mentioned, and it's something that we used to discuss on the classes at the university. Um, let me see if this rings any bell. Here, I, I found it with different names. So you have mechanization, mass production, automation, and robotization. What are these? Can somebody name it? How did you learn this at school or at the university? No? There was a discussion back in 2010, between 2010 and 2014 in the university, when I was in the university studying international relations or foreign affairs. We made a question to um, a very important character in El Salvador. We asked him, do you think El Salvador is globalized? And I make you the same question now. Are we globalized? Is this too, too small? But first, uh -huh. what, is, but first, what is globalization? What is globalization? Can somebody define globalization? No. Nope. Okay. Um, basically, you have a set of parameters that become global. The first globalization era was industrial, the industrial revolution. Okay, there were steam engine and mechanical production started. So before this, everything was made by hand, handcrafted products. Then you had the steam machines, the steam engines, uh, then mechanical production, you know, like more equipment to work. And then you had the mass production, industrial revolution, the second revolution. Okay, then you had electricity, a division of labor hours, remember? It was on the second revolution where the working hours were reduced from 12 or 14 hours a day to eight hours a day, okay? And then one of the best ones, automation, okay? Automation, that was the third revolution, okay? The third revolution where you had electronics and information technologies, where you have some sort of robots, a line of production was invented on the third revolution and our era, our era started on the early 21st century, which is where we are right now, cyber physical systems. Now we have artificial intelligence working for us. What we're doing right now, Zoom, Zoom. Did you ever thought about being virtually with more people? No, no, no. Right, this is the fourth revolution technology and the fifth revolution is coming but for the fifth revolution they say that we're going to be on a war you know a nuclear or chemical chemical war got it erwin i got you okay so it's crazy right and so what about the question globalized if El Salvador is globalized, when you hear the word globalized, it means if your country has adopted all of these standards of the world. And yes, we are globalized. We have cell phones, we have computers, we have virtualization of programs like this one, like educational programs and all kinds of programs is virtual. Everybody has access, that's the point. If the whole country has access, then the country is globalized. You got it? Yeah. The first revolution. If your country had steam or mechanical machines doing the job, you're globalized. Second revolution, 
it was the industrial era. Things went bigger, okay? Labor hours, everything. If you got it, you're globalized. The third one, again, was the production line. All of these uh, conveyor belts, conveyor belts, you know what is a conveyor belt? Elvin, Erwin, Luis, conveyor belt in Spanish. Yes. Uh, what is it? Un banda transportador. Una banda transportador, una banda sin fin. Right, that's a conveyor belt. And you have a line of people doing their job. And you have robots, mechanical robots. In the fourth era, computers. Are we globalized? We're getting there. Yeah. Okay. It was just a little thing. Let's watch a video. Y tengo que repetirlo. Este video es traído a ustedes gracias a que tiene open source. Es decir, podemos verlo sin temor a que no demande. Okay, so uh, <coughs> tough word. Y a esto hemos llegado con la globalización. Hoy tenés que tener cuidado con el contenido que buscas o que ves porque puede tener copyrights y está bien, derechos de autor. Ok, en este caso lo busqué como open source. We're going to watch it. Les ruego que pongan mucha atención. Traten de tomar nota porque está subtitulado en inglés. Ok, para que ustedes puedan tomar nota. So get a pen and paper. Get pen and paper. O si gustan, si les, se les facilita y están en una computadora, pueden compartir en el chat de Zoom. Cualquier palabrita nueva que hagan. Like, what? what? What is that? Right? And we look it up. It's just five minutes. I don't think, I don't know if I'm going to play it. Puede que lo le dé hacia adelante o hacia atrás para ver algo importante. So let's go. Hello, everyone. My name is Sunita Karyala, and I'm going to talk about COVID-19 and the food systems and implications for nutrition. We all want um, healthy babies to be growing up to their fullest potential to be uh, as uh, children and adolescents and healthy adults who in turn give birth if they choose to to children that are healthy and, uh, and well nourished throughout their life. This is only possible with a lot of things in place, for example, good health care, correct information, wash, education, and being there for each other through collective action throughout the life cycle. One of the key inputs into nutrition is healthy and nutritious diets. These diets come from no other place than our food systems, which incorporates agriculture production, markets and trade systems, food transformation, consumer demand, and therefore the consumer themselves. Together, these processes determine our diet quality, which includes... Okay, is it going too fast? Yes, no. Maybe a little. A little too fast, okay. Let's see. Dietary diversity, dietary adequacy, as well as safety. Before COVID, about 40 to 70 percent COVID of the labor force in low and middle income countries was employed in agriculture. What you we find after COVID since March this year is that there's been an estimated one third decrease in livelihoods and a one third decrease in incomes of people. Therefore, there has been a 20% increase in poverty in Sub Saharan Africa and in Asia, on South Asia on average. Low and middle income countries have always faced for, especially for perishable nutrient dense foods, such as um, the animal source foods, fruits and vegetables, and weak supply chains. And because of lockdowns and because of infections and disruption of formal and informal markets and production itself, uh, countries have seen food price fluctuations making um, making nutritious diets rather difficult. 
as we all know, there has been a rapid increase in ultra processed food consumption across the globe. But there is some emerging evidence that this might be worsening due to COVID. COVID. Before COVID, there were 135 million people food insecure, according to WFP, the World Food Program. And now there are about 260 million people who are food insecure, therefore threatening the diet quality of these people and therefore potential for uh, better improving their nutrition outcomes. So, given that there has been a disruption just not to one system but every possible system that we can think of our hard-earned gains in improvements in maternal and child nutrition are under indeed under jeopardy recent estimates show that there has been a 14 percent increase in child wasting this is of course not a surprise given disruptions to food supplies and therefore access, physical and economic access to foods. The 30% reduction in essential nutrition services, as well as a lot of in misinformation around COVID and around COVID and nutrition also. In the recent article in The Lancet, the UN Health, uh, some of the agencies have put forward nutritious, safe and affordable diets as one of the most important core okay. She already went through the stage that I wanted you to listen to. What have you understood so far? What's she talking about? Other than nutrition, forget about nutrition. She start saying about that uh, she wants to get the full edge of the babies through nutrition. Okay, but uh -huh. what happens pandemic. with the food, the pandemic, the food, what happens with it? The supply yeah. chain system uh, disruptions about the Asia, Asia? Africa, Africa, Asia, uh, Africa. Um, and I don't remember another country. India, I think so, she said. India, yeah. South Korea. Yeah. South Korea, yeah. South Korea. So, okay, Luis Ernesto said it. The supply chain, have you noticed? Have you heard the news? What's going on in the world right now? Yes, I Yep. Go ahead. F finish, finish the idea, Luis. Uh huh. Okay. There is a next um, pandemic, maybe, because the. Mm, no, um, you were you were going on the right path. You were going on the right path. Okay. The the supply chains is going uh, harder right now because um, the container is very difficult right now to find a um, container. Um, the ships are in making um, congestion now, how do you say? Crowded in the uh, ports? Jam, ports. It's jamming the ports. Jamming um, jam the ports on the United States, on China. Um, here in Panama, it's, it's very complicated right now. Gary? I saw a news about many containers there is there there are around the United States because they don't have the capability to down that kind of product because now there are many containers that they need those containers in one country or another one place, but those containers are in other place. They are, that is creating a big problem to move that kind of, the, that move those products around Why? the world. Why? Why is this happening? I mean, we move our food and this is called a supply chain because the world, I mean, 
I don't know what percentage, but the biggest percentage of products <clears throat> has always been moved through containers by sea because it's cheaper, it's more convenient, it's not fast. I mean, it's not as fast as an airplane, but it's less expensive than moving by air things, you know, using ships to move a huge volume of product. So right now, if you want to import things from China, don't do it. It's crazy. I mean, yeah. Is the higher price in the history, I think, right now. There you go. And that's the point. Uh, problems on the supply chain increase the price or products go on decline. I saw a commercial on the news or I saw on the news as well that Denny's, Denny's stopped selling some products in the States because they don't have the products required to cook this food. It's crazy. So how does that affect, and this is our topic, how COVID has affected X product. So what do you think regarding the price? Regarding the price, can you give me an example of a product that you have noticed has been affected by COVID? In terms of price, The mask. The masks, but is it negative impact or positive impact? Negative. Negative? Yes. I mean, mm, but that's see. okay. Did you hear what word? What word did she use on the video to say quarantena? What was the word that she used to say quarantena? She said during lockdown. During lockdown. Okay. During lockdown, prices went up. So the same happened with masks, right, Ada? The same happened. I told you before, right? Max went up. But after the lockdown was over. Nowadays, everything is cheaper, right? The masks are cheaper. Now, I want you to think. You cannot think of a product right now that increased its price due to COVID? Hey, gasoline. Gasoline? Fuel? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I heard. I haven't experienced, and listen to this, I haven't experienced a huge increase in gasoline. Not like 2000, come on, 2014, 2015, 2016. Yeah. How much, what was the most, the biggest price you paid for a gallon, a gasoline gallon? Five dollars. Five dollars. Almost six dollars, right? Dollars. It was crazy. Okay, so in global terms, what affects pricing? Hmm. Transportation. Okay. So, yeah, and that's part of the logistic. We talked before about demand and accessibility. Accessibility. Yeah. Thank you, Johnny. Yeah, it continues being the problem with the, the distribution channels. But what makes the prices fluctuate? the demand and the offer of the product, right? Right. So there was a huge demand of masks during COVID uh, lockdown. Let's start using that word. During COVID lockdown, there was a huge demand. Everybody wanted masks, but the offer was dead. Nobody had masks. It's crazy. Okay. And the supply yeah, chain. Too. What's that? Why paper? I always wonder why paper? Why people <laughs> the, go crazy the about people paper? is crazy. 
I don't know why everybody was crazy about uh, toilet paper. Uh, what else? What else? Okay, so there's a, a key factor, a key factor that affects pricing in the market. And this is the way Wall Street works. Haiti, someone? How does uh, the Wall Street, uh, or I should say, the stock exchange market, the stock exchange market works? How does it work? Based on what? Nobody knows? Oh, you see, for more than one teacher. <laughs> <laughs> the stock exchange market. <laughs> you know what is that, right? Shame. Stock inventory. SP. SP, Standard Dow Plus, Jones. Dow Jones. But those are, you know what is that? Those are groups of companies. Groups of companies that it's have. It's an index. It's an index. You got it. An indice de companias, an index. Very good. Okay, but how does it work? What makes fluctuation on those numbers, you know, statistics? Let me give you a synonym of the word that I'm looking for. On the market, gossip. Rumors. Rumors, that's another synonym, excellent. Speculation. There you Speculation. go, speculation. Can somebody define a speculation? Suppositions. For example, Shams. there is a, a, a one word that you can, uh, um, some word that you can say, uh, buy at the news and sell at the, let me see, buy at the rumor and buy at the news. The way is, is because when you, to create uh, some news about something, and you are going to create a FOMO about the product. And many people is going to go in that kind of market. And when the the speculator, the professional speculator know that, they are going to sell everything when, when they know that everyone is buying. Yeah, same thing happened in El Salvador when Naive said, we're buying bitcoins and China was like, wait, wait, Shh. okay. And they bought everything when millionaires and the thing went down like crazy. That, that was a clear example of what Yuri is saying. Speculation, somebody could say, hey, you know what? It's gonna be a lot of rain in Texas, let's say, I don't know where they grow oranges, they grow oranges. The biggest part of oranges come from Texas. Let's make it, make up an example. And somebody says, hey, it's gonna be a lot of rain in Texas. It's gonna ruin. All the oranges are going to ruin. So everybody starts buying actions on the orange market. And then, okay, the same thing happens. That's the way it works. Speculations, can you believe it? A rumor, a simple rumor can cause a huge mess. Okay, that was just a thought. And now uh, the next topic, I don't like this topic, but we have to go through this. Um, I have a list of terms that I haven't finished on your WhatsApp. I'm about to send you a lot of data on your WhatsApp. Don't go crazy, it's just, a lot of um, terminology that is very interesting for this topic. I hope, I hope someday um, you can use this prod, this vocabulary that I'm about to send you. Just give me a minute. I'm just adding the asterisks to the important or these titles of this. Okay, there's a lot of vocabulary. Okay, can somebody continue the class? Can somebody become a teacher right now? Oh, no, I'm ready. There you go. What? <laughs> okay, it's just a short list. I'll send you the link to that website because it was a total of 61 
61 um, terms, 61 terms that you can use. It's a dictionary basically of 61 terms you need to know about e-commerce pricing. I'm sending the link right now so you can have it handy whenever you need it. So just look at some of them. Uh, I need some help, somebody reading the first one. Just one. Uh, me, Fernando. Okay. Basket based pricing. <laughs> uh, data driven strategy where customers are offered person personal. Per per personalized. Okay. Personalized. Personalized recommendation in the shopping cart to increase basket size. This is so easy. Have you ever, thank you, Fernando. Have you ever buy something on, have you ever bought, I'm sorry, something on eBay, Amazon, you know, even Facebook marketplace? No, 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 no. Well, no, Amazon, let's say you add something to your cart and then they, they go like, oh, this goes perfect with your item. You should buy this other thing. Or they tell you people who bought this item also liked this other item, okay? It's commonly known as upselling. Upselling, you understand upselling? When you go to Burger King and you say, I want a, give me a name, give me a name. Whooper. I want Whooper. a Whooper. Whooper. <laughs> and the guy goes like, hey, do you want some fresh potatoes with your Whooper? Or do, would you like the extra large? Soda and papas, I mean, and fries. Yeah. And you go like, how much is it? Um, $1.50. It's $2 actually. Okay. Yeah. Some cheese on your, ham on your hamburger? Sure. How much is it? 50 cents. Okay. That's upselling. He got you. That's the same um, one. Okay. Caroline, continue. Captive product. Sorry, <laughs> captive product. Accessory items that are used and sold alongside for product. Same thing, right? Um, features, features, a plus to what you're buying. I'm buying this cell phone. <laughs> okay, I get this cell phone. Hey, come on, you need... Uh huh. You need a, a case for your cell phone. You need a glass holder. Need a glass for your cell phone. Accessories. As easy as that. You see, and this is terminology for pricing. Commoditization. What? Commoditization, Alan. Uh, the process in which a product becomes identical to competitor products. So customer make purchasing decision based solely on price. Identical. Identical. To competitor products. Okay. So customers make purchasing decisions based on solely, new word, solely on price. So you have the same product, they look alike, they have the same characteristics. How can you make a decision? Price, okay. Uh, so I'll give you the chance to scan. Don't read the whole thing, but in groups, I want you to just scan all of these concepts and find just two per group. Just find two concepts that called your attention, okay? That you were like, oh my God, I never knew about this. For example, I will like Haiti 
to read. Where is it? Dumping, dumping, dumping. There it is. Can you read dumping? Dumping. Mm -hmm. Dumping refers to manufacturers export a product to foreign market at a price below its domestic market price to drive our competitors. Drive out competitors. Remember yesterday's topic? And I told you, who wants to live forever? Okay. What do you understand by this, Heidi? The, um, for example, a product that comes from another country, maybe cheaper. Mm -hmm. to, to drive out some local producers or mm -hmm. right i gave you the example of uh women's clothes underwear women's underwear mm -hmm. remember who who is killing who killed because it's dead who killed the national products for underwear china china, china. chinese products china. i mean dos por la cora mi amor like that, they are, don't exist. Did you know Yolanda de Cire doesn't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. um, Colombiana, I think it was another brand. Do you know what they did? They end up, in this country, you cannot declare yourself in bankruptcy. You cannot go like in the States, oh, I'm in bankruptcy, I cannot pay my debts. In this country, if you are in bankruptcy, so sorry, you have to sell all of your inventory. You have to sell your machinery and pay your providers. Sadly, that's the end of pay. so many companies. Pay off. Pay off? Yeah. Yeah. You have this country off. is like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I didn't know. So scan, get your two best uh, definitions. Okay, this is all about pricing, guys. So I'm just giving you a few minutes to scan this and in group define, hey, this is interesting, okay? Good. Rationate, find coherence on this. Okay, I'm splitting you one last time so we can discuss. It's just gonna be seven, 10 minutes, okay? And we come back. Okay. 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 <laughs> Let's go. Was Antonio? Let's go. I choose someone is price and bench benchmarking. Um, yeah, benchmarking. I heard that words. Uh, you compare um, your uh, product with your competitor, and you load what uh, are the good point for the products or the services and you need to uh, improve yourself or your business um, for the reason I think is a good thing that um, we can uh, look in a price strategy And what do you think? Chicos, me voy a levantar un minuto. Don't worry. Thank you. What concept do you is price benchmarking? The benchmarking is uh, uh, yeah, it's compared yeah. to the price, but you need to be better than your competitors. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
the benchmarking. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a very important concept. Uh, usually, uh, many companies do that, compare mm -hmm. the price with the competitors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Benchmarking. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's a strategy of uh, lack of market history. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very important for the competition for the other companies, no? Yes. Yeah. It's only as a, as a as a, a strategy for the competition that you mark the pros. Yeah, the person needs. Yeah. We need to choose two characteristics of prices. Thank you. Remember, it's just two definitions that you have to come up with. Yeah. In your own words, that's the whole point. Good job. Many, I, I, I remember that I saw, I knew about the predatory pricing is Uber uh, because- Oh, yeah. Because they they gave a service that is is cheaper than the taxes. So the taxes, the taxi no service. more taxes. But they at the end they are they are like a like a bubble, but it's a predatory price because they kill all that kind of drivers. That is good to good good term. Yeah. And it's true, uh, for example, if you uh, offer a product in, in Facebook, for example, uh, you offer your, your product and you set the price, uh, it's um, very, um, I don't know, uh, dangerous because you set the price, uh, for example, $10. And the other person in the comments of your on your uh, publication uh, offer their product uh, cheaper than yours. Be for delivery, for delivery, um, I and they give you five dollars in the first in the first order. Uh, and actually, I, I think they keep that that fee. The, the, they 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 have the 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 lower the lower cost to to delivery. Okay, yeah, it's cheaper than Hugo. Than Hugo, than Uber Eats, than Get My Food, than uh, uh, Gourmet Express, all the apps. For example, I I send documents from San Salvador to Calle Montserrat for one dollar only. Oh my God. <laughs> Cheaper. Yeah, because uh, Uber is always two. Always is 2.50. Uh, or, uh -huh, or that is a standard of pricing. 2.75. Yes, and they, for example, the cost of delivery is some when you order in some restaurants or or food services are 50 cents or 1.25 uh, from Antigua, Atlanta, San Salvador, for example. But what about uh, the, um, the distance that uh, Pedro Jack covered? Mm, I... I uh, it's the same. I ordered. I ordered from Antioquia Atlant to El Salvador, and they they had cover. There is an, another example in the line of the Uber, the taxi cab versus Uber. Yes. They come to that, kill that, that taxi was a, service. That was a, a, a lot of taxis that uh, are official. In, uh, 
they they pay they pay taxes for being a, a taxi every yeah. every year and Uber doesn't doesn't have to pay taxes yes. because so uh, that is a uh, is a uh, how do you say not equalitarian o sea eso es it's not fair it's not fair it's unfair unfair competition it's unfair competition maybe that that could be a a, a predator predatory pricing predatory pricing we can talk about the uh, um no i'm not going to talk about because the teacher is here <laughs> okay, I'm gone. I'm gone. Don't worry. <laughs> Recording the <Yeah>. progress. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, the, I'm the, the enemy. Bye. The, the, no, I, I, the... I will praise him. You see it? Um, Michelle, no. Yep, and on Michelle, I'm praising your strategy where business synchronizes prices across different channels, but with some exceptions. Pictures. Sorry, what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, what? <laughs> what happened, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just that, um, saben que ese video, esa presentación, uh, Esta presentación de Prezi estaba tan detallada, pero tuve que eliminar ciertos videos. Ya encontré el video que estaba buscando sobre este, esos temas de pricing, de web strategy, de um, market saturation. Hay una ponencia de Big Tent, que es una organización eh, que se encarga de desarrollar uh, small and medium businesses en Estados Unidos, pequeños y medianos negocios en las pymes, pues, en Estados Unidos, pero en base a, a desarrollo de, de esto que estamos haciendo acá, pero en ponencias, ¿no? Invitan a grandes personajes de, exitosos de la industria y ellos hablan de diferentes temas. En el que les voy a pasar está, pero cañón. So, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Throw me the ball. Throw me the question. What was it? What happened? Alex, what happened? Uh, no, actually, I have no access to my cell phone right now. I oh. can see it. They can't. Okay. Are you done with your two concepts? Yeah, no. we are. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> are you surprised by any concept, Haiti? Uh, have you? I, I was going to ask you if you could explain price benchmarking. Benchmarking. Uh -huh. It's that I've heard it before, but I can't remember the concept. Benchmarking. Let me remember. It says comparing prices you compare competitors in order to see the, an impact once price positioning in a market. Believe it or not, I just can find it. What's the title of it? Bench price benchmarking. Oh, oh, okay, I got it, I got it. Price benchmarking. benchmarking. Com comparing prices with competitors in order to see an impact one's own price positioning in the market. What's the result of adding a standard price to your product compared to your competitors? What's the reaction of the market if you set the same price, let's say? To, of the of your competitors, this uh, price benchmarking is sim similar to the first one we saw. Commoditization products becomes identical to competitors, but in this case, you're you're using the same price of your competitor to mm -hmm. see what's the behavior of your consumers. I don't know if you have seen, if you have been on this situation where you can, where you find your product. It's like finding Cafe Listo and I don't know. Um, no, 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 no. Okay, finding Cos Cafe 
and in Nescafe at the same price. What would you buy? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what would you buy? <laughs> right? So you, you go like, oh my God, the best coffee is at the same price right now. Are you kidding me? Right? Or Don Juan, what, what's the other guy? Don Pablo? No, wait. What's the other coffee from Colombia? Oh my God. Juan Valdez. Juan Valdez. If you find Juan Valdez, <laughs> at the same price of this cafe, what would you buy? I mean, that's that's benchmarking in this pricing pricing um, context. Okay. Now that's the point. The whole point is an experiment. If you can see, it's just to see an impact of your product, how your price is positioned in the market compared to the competitors. Uh, of course, it's just a thought because you cannot compare a great brand. It's like comparing iPhones price to Samsung prices, right? It's like a monadic test. test. Monadic test. Monadic Very good. And in, in this term, it's not so common and not advisable because you will lose money, right? Mm -hmm. If you have a good product. If you have a well-positioned product, I should say. And that's what keeps Apple alive, did you know? It's not such a great technology. Their quality, durability is good. But their mm -hmm. market, their lovers, their fans, they just love Apple. And there's a lot of people in the world, special, especially the Chinese market. To read about it. Okay, so if you're ready, we should, we must, we must be ready. We're missing three yeah. minutes. Let's go. Come back. Baby, come back. Ok, um, bien chicos, hemos terminado esta sesión, voy a pasar el listado y mañana quiero que no se les olvide lo que hemos visto ahorita. Um, todo lo que hemos visto este, al final, estos conceptos, y les voy a enviar un video que espero que lo vean desde el minuto 10.53. Ahí se lo voy a poner en negrita. Eh, si quieren ver todo el video del principio de él, en agarren vocabulario, pongan los subtítulos en el video. Pero si quieren um, entender el punto más interesante, como más relacionado a todo lo que hemos estado viendo de marketing strategy y todo esto, muévanse al minuto 10.53. Ok. I'm just running it down right now. Para que saquemos vocabulario también y entiendan el sentido de ese video a partir de ese minuto. Ok. Sorry for the delay. Mañana seguimos con esos topics. Eh, vamos a, al principio de la clase, vamos a definir todos esos términos. Recomiendo que traten de estar a tiempo, ¿ok? Ada, Susana, me quedo con, por cierto, José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Ada, Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Good night. Good night. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Elvin Alcide Seguizabal Martínez. Present, good night. Good night. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Good Ernesto night. Cosme Morales. Present. Good night. Good night. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Yes, teacher. Good night. Good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. José Alberto Salas Benítez. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. José Alberto Salas Benítez. Ya. Juan Francisco Enríquez González. Present teacher, good night. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Luis Ernesto Robert Romero Argueta. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Luis. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Roberto Luis Sumaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. 
Jocelyn y Melda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Good night. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Thank you. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. See you. See you. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Good night. Good night. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanet. Present. Good night. Good night. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Good night. Good night. Okay. Oh, What's up? How are you, Jose Antonio? Tired? Yeah. Yeah, lately, lately yeah, I know. Lately I noticed that you're very tired very often. Is it the age? Ayer. Ya me dormí. <laughs> I can tell. Es tocando más pesado. Yeah. ¿Es por el final del año o? ¿Será porque ya, ya va a terminar el año? Sí, como estamos en la época de más difícil en la empresa, un poquito más, más saturado. Porque como estamos más saturado. Ya. Hombre, pero piensen en el, la cena navideña de la empresa, en lo que ya viene. Por lo menos que le den un pago o algo. De empezar a avisar ahí que ya apuntarse. No, hombre, si la, la, las cenas navideñas antes, bueno, antes, después de la pandemia, eran bien, íbamos a lugares hoy, no, y es diferente. Sí, es bien diferente. Difícilmente una empresa está sacando a los empleados. Bien. Ok, ¿cómo se siente en la clase, José Antonio? Pesado, a veces no, no comprendo mucho. Puesto. Hoy sí estamos con todo. Sí, hoy sí. Ya. Ok, pero yo siento que la mayoría está como, eh, ¿cómo le digo? Interesada en los temas. Right? Porque si está, es de cuestión de lógica un poco, ¿no? Lo que estamos viendo, lo que hemos venido viendo. Y trae, trae una secuencia, eso es lo que a mí me gusta trae una secuencia de, de la vida del producto, ¿verdad? el ciclo de vida del producto, cómo poner los precios, luego vamos a ver marketing, todo esto. Eh, yo sé que le está tocando bien pesado, pero ¿qué, qué, ¿qué ha podido hacer o qué está haciendo para mejorar eh, el listening en este caso, que ya solo inglés estamos hablando? Sí que solo lo que estoy haciendo es como lo que me cuesta más que todo es, es, es entender más. Me dicen, ¿no? eh, hago, eh, eh, por ejemplo, una serie que me gusta. Primero lo pongo en subtítulo y, y en inglés, pa, y lo estoy escuchando. Uh -huh. Ok, eso sí puede, y puede me, funcionar. Puede funcionar mucho. Eh, sí, porque lo, lo inverso no, no, no es recomendable estar escuchando en español y, y viendo en inglés los subtítulos. Eso, 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 de hecho, es más efectivo que lo opuesto. Subtítulos en español y audio en inglés. No, eh, yo pienso que es mejor al revés. Audio en español, subtítulos en inglés. Ahí es hablarle al subconsciente para que solo escuche y, e ir leyendo los subtítulos. Eh, en inglés, o sea, es como esa sería la no, manera de título en inglés. Ajá, sería como estar escuchando en el español, pero hacer el esfuerzo de leer. Si se fijó en el video que les puse, eh, lo que hice fue poner los subtítulos en inglés. Ok, y pues al final, ah, reduje la velocidad del video. Eso le quería decir. Usted puede reducir la velocidad del video para que vaya más despacio, ya. Y no se pierde el sentido de lo que se está diciendo. Sería de probarlo en, en español. Si se puede poner subtítulos en inglés. Y el video en español. En audio en español. Ok. So. 
You tell me any questions, alguna pregunta en cuanto a gramática, algún tema que se haya quedado allí en, en el limbo un poco, que no haya quedado claro. Vamos a ver el chat. ¿Qué hemos cubierto de gramática? Ahorita sí, estamos de lleno con, el, uh, con los temas, ¿verdad? Está bien. Son bien compenetrados. Todo, todo ya una secuencia, como de usted, trabajar de todo. Más que todo. Ok. ¿Se acuerda de I will rather? No sé si he estado practicando yeah. eso. I will rather. Uh -huh. <laughs> ok. Um, would you, uh -huh. Vamos a ver. What would you rather do? In, would you rather do instead of your job? A ver. What would you rather do instead of your job? ¿Qué harías en lugar de tu trabajo? La manera de contestar sería I will rather or I will much rather. I would much rather si de plano. Por mucho preferiría tal cosa. I will much rather be. Es como preguntarle cuál era su sueño, qué quería hacer. So. I, I will, I will rather travel. Mm -hmm. I will rather country. travel to another country. To other countries. I will rather travel the world. I will rather travel the world. Mejor viajaría mejor a través del mundo, okay? I would rather travel the world en lugar de, instead of my job. Instead of doing your job, I would rather travel the world, okay? Uh, would you, como decían los ejercicios, would you rather speak French? Let's say French or Italian. Hmm? Would you rather speak French or Italian? I would rather speak. Speech. Speak. 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 I would rather speak. Mm. Italian. I will rather speak Italian. Okay. <laughs> Next. <laughs> would you rather have another baby or a dog? I would rather have a, another baby. Really? How many? Yeah. Do, how many do you have? I, I have two. Two babies. Two babies. Both daughters or sons? Oh, one. A son? A son. And? And one daughter. Okay, repeat. A son and a daughter. A son and a daughter. Daughter. <laughs> really? Then you want another one? Really? No. I have three already. Don't go there, Jose Antonio. Don't go there. It's too difficult. Having three kids is, oh my God. I have 12, 9, and 6. Boy, boy, and girl. And they drive me crazy all the time, you know. It's, 
it's an earthquake. The house is an earthquake. So study more. It's difficult. Mm. Aún ganando mucho dinero es dificilísimo. O sea, es una gran responsabilidad. Y eventualmente mm. se vuelve más difícil. Entre más van creciendo, más difícil se vuelve. Ok. Thank you for staying 10 more minutes. José Antonio, practique más. Le dejo ahí con inquietudes a de Google Reader. Practiquemos, ok? okay. Take care. Good night. Thank you, thank you.